Hi there and welcome back to Flirt. My name is Brie and it's awesome to see you all back here again. Today um, we are going to be talking about the new issue of Flirt. Um, so let's do some get to know me questions. Okay, so my role with Flirt, um, I first started off as a vlogger for Flirt um, last year in October. So it's, it's nearly been a year since I've been with Flirt and it's awesome. Um, and in July I started doing um, online articles as well. And then next we've got one random fact about me. I can't eat spinach. I literally can't eat spinach. I wish I could but every time I put it in my mouth, this is actually the same for meat. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. Um, and I don't like salad. <laughs> That's just way too much at one time. What is my favourite current jam out song? I would walk the hundred miles and I can't walk the hundred miles. Yep, that, um, that was like just before I was warming up to do my vlog. At the moment, one product that I am absolutely loving and I can't live without at the moment is my perfume that I've been designing. It is called Ebden Avenue. Um, and this is the perfume. Um, that's the box. If you can see, it's called Ebden Avenue. Um, this one is Wonderland and it is strawberry and grapefruit perfume oil. Um, I don't want to open up the box because that's actually one of the products. But here is one I prefer I I um I prepared earlier. I'll show you a different one. This one is called Rainbow Clouds. Um, and as you can see they're they come in a little roll-on bottle um, and they are amazing because <laughs> I made them. No, I'm joking. No, but they are, literally are amazing. Mm. Um, this one is my favourite one to wear. This one is Rainbow Clouds, um, Mango Steen and Strawberry. It has a tiny hint of coconut as well. Um, but I'm wearing a different one. <laughs> but that is my favourite one and as you can see they're like little roll-on ones. Um, yeah, and I will have them for sale soon, but my website isn't live for that, so continuing on, um, that's my product I can't live without at the moment. I wear it 24-7. Um, how was I introduced to Flirt? I first came across Flirt um, on Twitter. Yeah, I was making random YouTube videos, and then I was just looking up hashtags on Twitter um, for vlogs because I was doing vlogs on my own channel. You can go and check it out if you want, I'll put a link below. Um, and then I saw a, I think maybe they were looking for vloggers or somehow we started tweeting each other and then I was vlogging for Flirt and I was like, this is awesome. Um, what has been my favorite vlog to record so far? Um, there was one I did, I think it was last year and it was on, um, there's a massive thing about this obsession with thigh gaps, like the gap in between your legs. And I just, I, at the time, it just got me like really angry. And it was a really good vlog to film. Um, next one. What do I like most about the new Flirt website? Go and check it out. It is awesome. I love it because on like, <coughs> on the homepage, you have like um, boxes and then up in the top little corner of it, it tells you exactly what type of article it is. Um, so you might notice it might be like activism or um, academic, lifestyle. There's all different types. <laughs> like there's so many more than what we had before. And so when you're looking at it, you can instantly tell, you know, this is this type of article, that's that type. And when you scroll down, it, you've got pictures of like articles so that you can, you know, instantly be like, oh, that looks good. I'm going to read that one. Um, what has been the most challenging part about working for Flirt? For me, and I'm sure for the other Flirt vloggers as well, it is putting content on to the internet and having, there's always a fear in the back of your mind that someone is going to take something that you've, um, that you've recorded onto the internet and then they've taken it out of context. That is the thing that I worry about the most um, because obviously I do this to try and help people and to put a voice you know to something that someone else might be thinking but I know that the other vloggers are very supportive and we all work really well together and if something happens then um, they're always there 
in the fall issue that's just come out. Um, I don't have any articles in it, but I do have articles on the website that you guys can check out. I have done a couple. Um, my favourite, how to stay sane as an unemployed graduate because I just finished uni and I think there'd be like a gazillion people in my same position freaking out that they're not going to be able to get work. Um, and so I wrote an article on it and yeah, I did two little fun ones. One was how to make your own perfume from flowers in your garden and then the other one was um, all these random drinks and my favourite one from that was I made a drink up um, called, oh, I think it was like Orange is the New Black and it was like an orange fizz non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> yeah, it was just really fun to be really creative with that. And my favourite article in the New Flirt edition is um, definitely the one by Lucy. Um, Lucy's on the front cover of the magazine and she's amazing. Um, she's a YouTuber as well and she is also a filmmaker, um, which is like what I do as well. So I was like, awesome. So I instantly connect with like what she's saying. And you guys can get your own copy just on the link below or go on the website or on Facebook, you know, all that jazz. And I will see you all back here next week and have a lovely day. Okay. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and see ya.